Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ripple Effect. Jimbo made mention he had a uh, creeper explosion over here the other day, so weird. Might as well come back and I think we're good. Like I so. Uh, also, we're gonna be spending some time in here real quick. Equally went ahead and got some uh, flowering going, extended the road out a bit. Looking nice. How far does the road go? Not too about right here. Oh. It's cool. I'm happy to see the road finally moving. Such. It looks like. No, it still might bypass from this way. But yeah, so I've got new stuff to sell at the shop. Watching Decoy's episode, let me know. Uh, you guys want some dyes. Also, Jimbo wanted some dyes, and I just kind of told him to die shop but we're gonna be selling some of these these are some of the ones that are left over the ones that are missing here you can basically already buy in here so I'm not trying to double sell stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there real quick and I'll be right back all right die is now in there it's one diamond a stack that's so expensive for die it's kind of a well I don't have room to carry lots of dies in here <laughs> so maybe we Put some more down here so I can double the stock and make it a little bit cheaper. But for now, it's that it's kind of an emergency thing. Anyways, I don't know anyone who would come all the way to Spawn Town to buy die. Yep. We have work at the base, so I will meet you back there. All right, guys, we are back at the base. And uh, oh, I don't have my controller plugged in. And uh, maybe there we go. OK, so chain plans changes lots of stuff happening in between episodes my original plan was to put a sugarcane farm in a villager trading hall which will go right here and then use a cactus farm to do one of those xp machines with the furnace and then i said why <laughs> why would i do that one because like I use the Wither Skeleton Farm and the Blaze Farm for XP and to mend stuff, even though they're slower, because I use those drops quite often. So I don't want to replace the way to get XP. And also, the Villager Trading Hall is probably going to be big enough as it is. Why well, smash another farm in there? And then I have this weird little section right here. So it goes from here to here. I don't know why I broke that where it's it's still iron farm like this iron farm extends way back that way so i really don't have the room to do anything large right here so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna put the the sugarcane and cactus farm here well not the farm itself this hey really every time i hit the record button you seem to start to make noise um, I'm going to put them here, the storage here, the farm itself, I'm going to put under the floor. Well, that was, that was a bad spot to show you, but we have all this room down here and nothing being utilized. So I think I'm going to put them both underground in this general area. And we're just going to have pipes coming up and the storage will be up here. You don't really need to see these farms. They're just going to, they're not going to be huge farms. They're not going to be cool looking farms. They're just going to be farms running in the background as it is. Yeah, I'm getting ready to have a live stream. So I think on that live stream, what I'm going to do is go ahead and dig out the section for the storage, dig out the section for the farms, probably do a little mountain work. And uh, I'll show you guys what we get done. I get back. All right, guys, one successful stream later. And we have this uh, cut out. And down here, we kind of need to be a little careful because it is a bit of a slime farm down here. Uh, but yeah, these are going to be the areas for the cactus and sugar cave farm they're not going to be huge they're not going to be big like every farm in my base is going to be running in the background so we don't want massive stuff this is the killing chamber for the iron farm so we cannot go any further that way uh, and on this side there's some water caves with magma and stuff yeah so we couldn't go down any further this will not be our only tube up. We're going to have another tube on this side also. So I think this will be the cactus side. Yeah, it'll have its own shoot up. Hurricane farm will have its own shoot up. But before I can get those in place, 
need to get the storage. Don't get why sometimes I'll go halfway up and then just fall straight down even though I've tilted my guy. Like that. Weird. But yeah, I need to get storage in place so we know where to put the chutes and how to work the overflow. So the pretty part's coming first, which is kind of rare. But I'm going to go ahead and knock that out real quick. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and knock all of that out real quick. And then we'll go ahead and get the farm uh, designs and everything done afterwards. guys our storage is done and uh really just need to put the farm now kind of weird doing the finishing touches first we can come in here you see the silos are in place will be one tube going up to there this tube will go up to here sugar cane side this will be the cactus side i'm gonna get the cactus side done first and all that hooked up all the overflow should come out and then whenever we're done we're gonna do a lava drop right here so we don't have to worry about items stacking up and caught lag. Head down here and again. Remember to get our sword out because. Yep. See, there we go. Yeah. I, I need to take advantage of this at some point. All the slime <laughs> that I can get from here. I haven't got a slime head from this though. The amount of slime I've killed this season. Thing. All right, cool. Yeah, so this is going to be cactus side, sugar cane side. I'm going to get to work. I'll bring you guys back when those farms are done and actually fully operational. All right, guys, we are back, and the cactus side of the farm is done. We're actually producing a little bit of cactus. Uh, it does mean we cannot go down <laughs> this way anymore. A little worried about how close. This up tube is because you can see it goes right on that hopper. That might have been a pain and it might be something I want to switch and maybe just kind of push it to the side. That's something we can do. That's not that big of a deal. I just want to. Not to me. Um, let's check, make sure we have no slime. On to Obni. Not to me. Okay, so here we go. Here's our cactus farm. Nothing crazy. Nothing spectacular. Just a normal cactus farm. I have been half slabbing everywhere except for right there. I probably should have half slabbed underneath there. And this is to keep the slime from spawning. Everything. If they spawn in there, then uh, good for them. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. There's some cactus going down. We should shoot up. Perfect. Uh, you know what? Real quick. Let's see if it got caught. We had 14 in there when we started the recording. Somehow we still have a torch in here. wonder if I broke that on the way up. Uh, down 15. We have 16. Okay, so this thing is working. Uh, where I have the water tube, that's not a problem. I still might move it just for peace of mind. 
but yeah so i'm getting ready to do the sugarcane side and i think i'm gonna use a bit of tango tex farm and just make it smaller more compact i don't need as much as his farm produces and uh yeah i'll be back when we have that in place all right guys we are back and i have a small version of tango tex farm i think we should see some thing come up to the tube now i went uh it's just was it one, two, three individual cells? It, it's not bad at all. It definitely fits in here. And I technically probably could go just a little bit taller if I wanted to and double stack them. But it's, it's just going to be running in the background. All this stuff goes into overflow before I can use it all anyways. So sugarcane farm has been going. And I realized you guys might not understand why there's floating water right here. And it's because this is a glass wall. There's some more cactus. This cactus farm is actually pretty productive. It's pretty great. Uh, yeah, so this is a glass wall. No floaty water or anything like that. Like I said, three individual Tangle Tech cells. I will put that in the description if you want to use it. Yeah, but they all empty into an ice path down here that runs uh, at this level that I've covered up. Then it'll shoot down this way, come across whip around and then go up this tube. I had to do it all kinds of weird stuff because I needed it to end up right here. And that was honestly the easiest way to do it. We come up this way, the uh, bowels of the redstone, come out here. See, obviously we're not super producing, but we've got some sugar cane. Don't mind this. This was me prepping for the farms and this is, all cactus we've got during making this farm what we have in here i went afk maybe 20 minutes so that's pretty good i'm excited about it the farm seems to be working perfectly so we're just gonna close it up and let's get a look at it from back here yeah check it out it's done it fits in pretty well too so yeah sugar cane cactus and mark that off the checklist but now we need to go meet up with jimbo and carl because we're finally going to work on the wither effect logo map we got all the pieces in place and it's time to go ahead and knock it out so we're gonna go meet them in the map district and uh we'll be back uh, are, are you gonna welcome us here carl you yeah carl where's my welcome i mean for are we record are you guys recording i've already hit record i am in okay. four seconds yeah I have just hit record. Nice. Hit record when no one pays attention. That's how you get the good stuff. Yeah. This is actually my first time in the maps district. Well, welcome to the maps oh. district, Jimbo. I punched Jimbo and he didn't even move. Uh, that's no, not I'm even like... true. Hmm? You, you put some of this glass down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. You know what? I forgot how I got here the first time. I was like, man, I've never been out this way. The tunnel changed. Anyway, you guys ready to... Yes, sir. <laughs> whoa, 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 What, 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 We're hey, building the wither, uh, right? Yeah! When I, said build, right. when I said build a wither, I meant that wither. Did you Aww. guys bring extra heads? What wither? I might have uh -oh. some in my ender chest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I see. Alright. Sorry. So that's the good intro. Tr good it? try, Jimbo. <laughs> what, uh... What's right. going on? What are, we, what are we building? We're building the Wyvern Effect logo map. Look at how beautiful it is. Let's get a look from the sky. I can see my black map from here. <laughs> Which is supposed to be a dead set. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get there some. Okay, so we're just filling in with the blocks you've already placed, correct? Yep, so stone pressure plates, light gray carpet, gray carpet, and iron pressure plates. And then we should have a nice map at the end of it. I've got all the iron pressure plates taken care of. <laughs> I have carpet. I got the stone. There you go. Sh should we get to it? Let's get to it. Let's yeah. go.
Yeah, we don't care. It, it's late. It's like 3 a.m. for Carl. Is it? It's nearly oh, full. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find somewhere to hang this up. If I talk nonsense, it's probably that. To be fair, I talk nonsense anyways. I say, to be fair, I've we been the one guy. making all the stupid sounds the entire time. <laughs> well, guys, this looks great. It like looks... how Jimbo's trying to be serious, and we're just like, bad. Hey, that's it. Yeah, this it does is cool. Look, it looks amazing, but it really does. It even looks. I think it even looks better from the sky here. Yeah. With all these pressure plates, looks so cool. Really Look isn't. That. <laughs> the only thing that throws me off is when it blends into Avni's map. Yeah. <laughs> Same material. We've got a Look, walrus mark connected to let's our. Let's change weather. his map. <laughs> let's put like stuff on his map. Well, we've got a load of lime green. If that would help. No, no more lime green. That green screen <laughs> map, and then I did an all black map. I'm, I'm done with single colors. <laughs> nah, this is so cool. All right, guys, we are back at the base, and we're going to check on the farms real quick. When I left off, both farms were identical in the amount of items they had in it. Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I've only been chilling out at the base for about a half hour now, so those farms are working way better than I thought they would. Especially if considering how small they are. But before we take off, I want to show you guys something I am extremely embarrassed I did not think of earlier. And that's the fix <laughs> to, the, to the cyan wool sticking through the item frame black map. Now granted, it's not super black like I thought it would. Why black wool is not black on maps, I don't know. But we have that, and the way to do it is on top of this trapdoor do that that give him an opening that that boom 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 ta-da <laughs> now i hope piglins can still walk through that don't know if they can or not i'm gonna hope so we'll just keep an eye out if we see piglins roaming around the base we know this isn't working and we will change it back. But I think that's going to work. And I think that's going to be real nice. It's going to be real cool. So, yeah. On uh, that note, I think we're going to call it a day, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.